okay so guys uh, welcome back again welcome back to my channel again so once again i really appreciate you guys comments i really appreciate those nice comments and they keep encouraging me to do more videos yeah so today um what i want to do is yeah so i told you in the in the other video i think i showed you guys that we've completed our car park this is our car park area so this is the last floor on the car park area so this is the ramp that is connecting to the third floor the third floor is coming to this extent and this is, we have one for the ramp we have two type of ramp one for in and one for out so we are just trying to complete our gallery area once we are done with the gallery section we are going to connect the third floor that third floor that you are seeing there we are going to connect it down to this to this beam this is the beam starter bar that will receive the the third floor that is coming towards this this axis yeah so you can see here yeah, we've we've casted part of the third floor so we want to set out the column points so that's what i want to be doing so i have my i have two points here two known points i have this point f okay so this point f so over there where the reflector is i have point g there so i'll be using the two as my orientation so that i can set out the column points okay so my instrument is set let's check see guys so my instrument is set can you guys see okay so it is set and this one also is there so make sure that your bubble the boats the port part is set okay so um let's let's kick start battery in it yeah okay, i have battery in it okay yeah okay as you guys know this is the total session i've been using on this video and uh, most of my videos is the situation i've been using so if i have any new one maybe leica or any other total station i will definitely do a video on it so that you guys can you can have the idea of what i'm doing and how to operate it but this is the one i'm using for now so let's let's do something okay so um I have a file already let me go straight to the file you press menu you know the first thing is to go to the file so that at least you are saving your your job on on the file so and so what, what, what i go to three memory manager okay no escape so now you can see number one is data collection while number two is take out so it, it now depends on the one you want to do so data collection is when you want to observe unknown points so you do you understand so you want to you want to acquire more data you want to get more data that is when you use your data collection but if you are doing stakeout stakeout means that you are sending data out you want to do setting out you want to do a layout point that is what stakeout is all about so today i want to do setting out of colon point so definitely i'm going to i'm going to click on two so number two number two that is take out so you can see the file this is my previous file that i worked on so that's the file that i want to use so i'll press enter purple as so i'll press enter so you can see what is next so the first thing is to open the file make sure you choose a file before continuing your your job so number one is saying occupied point number two backside number three layout number four side shots so the occupied point is where you are setting your instrument that is where your instrument is occupying that's what it means by occupied points so number two is backside that is where you want to backside like where my colleague is that's my backside point. so number three layout that means you want to do setting out just normal setting out after your orientation then four is side shot that means you want to get a value of unknown point that is i should want to quickly pick a value that you want to determine the points the x y after your orientation that's where you use number four so let's do the orientation for because i've not done that so i'll click on number one occupied points okay can you see you can see what it's showing because the last time i used the instrument this was the last time that i set the the instrument so it's showing point f already can you see i hope you guys can see it here that is point f so that's what it's showing already 
so it's showing point f so that's my point f so i'll click enter enter so he's saying instrument height now so what i want to do is set now so i don't need instrument height if you can remember the last video that i did topographical survey like as bit survey that i needed height so i had to use the i had to check my height of instruments to make sure that is very very important whenever you are doing topographical survey or you are doing uh, uh a survey that needs that require your z your height that require height so make sure that the height of instrument and the height of your reflector is very very important but here now i'm just doing uh a setting out i just want to set out some colon points which doesn't require height so i can ignore this i'll just press enter so now he's saying backside set backside so this now before i press yes i always use one method i will always make sure that i've already backed by set my reflector before pressing that yes so that's what i always do on my own project to avoid every unnecessary um error error that we can avoid it at first mark leg the leg make it go outside where where so i always try to avoid those errors so do you get it so that's why i always make sure that i i always make sure that i'm at the back side station that I'm, I'm my focus is on on the backside station before pressing yes so that's what i always make sure that i do before pressing yes so i think the backside station is ready so i'm doing my i'm trying to clear my focus set my cross air at the the the, the point okay i'll show you guys let me just fix it okay i think it's set so let me show you guys okay so let me show you guys can you see it can you guys see it aha uh -huh. can you see him over there Again, I think I see him. Uh -huh. So that's him over there. So she's ready. So now, once I've by set my reflector, I'll press yes. I'll press yes. So now, what he's saying is, is he's asking me of my back side station. So the last back side that I use, that's what the instrument is bringing out, which is point E. That was my last backside station, but today I'm using G as my backside. So, and I've already saved it on this file. So, what I just need to do is to call the, the the value out to call that point out once it is already saved on the instrument. But if the value is not saved on the instrument, damn it, you have to input it as new value. But I already have it on on the file here on the folder. So I'll just go to list. So I'll go to search. Then I will type the code, which is point e p t and e so that's it so i'll press enter so it's going to search for it measure coordinate coordinate let me use coordinates enter so that is no i need point g sorry list i need point g search that is p t then g I'll press enter, enter, so I have it already, measure, enter, so that's my point G, so this is my point G, so then I'll press, once it has confirmed, you've confirmed your, your backside station also, and you press enter, so it's saying backside, then horizontal readings to 50 degrees, 51 minutes, 0, 0 seconds, so it's now asking me yes or no so before i press yes that means i i always make sure that i check my back side again maybe it's still at the the the, the exact point so i always make sure that i check that as well so i press yes check back side yes reflector height so i don't need reflector height also i told you i, I ignore height because i'm not doing anything that has to do with height so i press enter um so now the instrument has has done his own 
calculation and his own orientation so i always make sure that i do something again whenever i'm using coordinates mode anything that has to do with coordinates i always make sure that i observe again to confirm the value so i press measure okay it's already measuring okay i think he's, he's the, ref, the instrument is on ref, non-reflectorless is on non-prism i think the last time i used the, the point i observed last i think it was non-prism that i used so let me check so you come to this star you press the star so you can see can you see here the reflector is what's non-prism so i'll change it to prism mode again so this is prism now so i'll press escape so i will now measure again measure so do you see now so what he's saying is i have five mm 5 mm difference okay that means i had to check all over again let me remeasure so i'm not accepting 5 mm 5 mm okay so i think i have four now okay so i have 4 mm so let me just confirm the value 7110530.809 okay 552765.588 so we are we are good to go so i'm i'm true with my orientation so i press enter i press enter so now what the instrument is saying is we are done with our orientation so we can continue with the the the, the, the setting that i want to do once you've checked your error and the error is minimal from 0 mm to 5 mm so but once it is anything more than that i don't i don't allow it i, I don't take it so so that's that's how we get it done so let's let's continue with the setting out so mark all right so it's going to take the reflector to to the other side to the to where we want to do the setting out so uh -huh. let me quickly show you this because i don't want the video to be too long so now number one is still is saying occupied point backside layers once i've done the orientation i don't there's no need for pressing the occupied point again there's no need for backside anymore because we've done our orientation now the next thing is number three is layout eh? no we don't need the stand we don't need the stand or you can take it so that maybe we'll create points on that place so the next time we're going to work will not come here so you can take the stand so we create another two points on that side so this is three layout points and four side shots so now number three is layout that means i'm setting out also so that's what i want to do so i'll press three i'll press three so i'll press three so now it's requesting for the value that i want to set out so after this you put you put in the value that you want to set out then you you, you the, the instrument will direct you to to the point that the, to direct you with the angle where you are going to do your your turning so you you turn the reflect to the, the instrument to the to, to the angle that is requesting for to the direction that the instrument is showing to you so till it gets to zero zero so once you are there you measure you keep measuring all over again so you direct your the the guy with the the staff also so you direct him to the point with the direction of the zero zero degree that you are having on your instrument so that's how we, that's how we get it done so you keep measuring keep measuring till you get to the final distance so that's how we that's how we get it done so guys i hope you I hope you understand it so that's that's everything about setting out that's everything about setting out so it's not it's not something that is hard it's not as hard as as many people think it is especially those that are still coming up so it's not as hard as that once you are done with your orientation you've checked all over again to see the, the difference that you are having in the orientation once it is minimal zero to five four three mm so that's where we are cool with that so we are good to go but once it's exceed that that means something is wrong you have to do your orientation again to, to check you check your temporary adjustment on the total station and also on the reflector you see where the error is coming from so that's that's how we get it done so once you've done your orientation then you input the value you want to set out if it is setting out and if it is not setting out if it is that you want to acquire more data you just keep you then you press on this instrument that is uh side shots we call it side shot here on this type of instrument so you just keep obtaining those data so you are you direct yours 
your colleague to go to where the every point that you want to pick so you guys keep observing you keep on with your observation so that's how to get it done and if you want to record it down you can record it and if you want to save it on the system you can also as well save it on the system so that's it guys thank you thank you for staying true thank you for saying true thank you and always make sure that you share the video that is that's is very very important guys it's always helpful because i might not be able to reach everybody and there are some that you know that that the that the video those materials will be useful for so you can share it with them as well so that they also can can gain they can add to their experience from there so thank you guys thank you thank you so much yeah i'll see you later